Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the latest keyboard mouse and mouse pad from Razer. I picked these up because, well, I really like to try out different keyboards and mice. And so they came wrapped in this tissue paper, and this is the brand new Pro Click mouse. This comes in at $99.99 in the United States. It's about the same price overseas as well. We'll set that aside. The next thing is the Pro Glide mouse mat or soft mouse mat, as it says. This is only $10, $9.99. We'll open that in a moment. And then this is the Pro Type. This is the most expensive of the three, and this is $139.99, at least in the United States. So let's go ahead and take this tissue paper off here. We'll set the keyboard aside for just a moment while we open up the mouse. So it looks like the mouse can open up like this, but we need to cut the tape. There we go. We'll open this up. I already ripped it. There we go. And it opens up. It's kind of different. Slide it out here and take a look at it. Now this was designed with human scale, so it should be very ergonomic and inside the box, We've got a little guide here. And then also inside with it, we get a USB, unfortunately, USB A to micro USB. So I wish this would be USB C, but it comes with the cable either way. Now let's go ahead and take it out of this cloth pouch here. And it looks pretty good. It's very ergonomic looking anyway, similar to Microsoft and Logitech mice, which is really nice. You can see here is the micro USB port, so you can use it while plugged in. And then you've got two programmable buttons on the side for back or forward. You can program them, like I said. It looks like you've got your your switcher between different devices. You can connect to four different devices, either via Bluetooth or an included USB-A dongle we'll look at in a moment. You've got a mouse wheel here that feels pretty good. It's, it's aluminum and it clicks side to side. And then on the bottom, you've got the mouse itself. Let's open this little door here and you've got the USB a dongle in here. Now, if you use this, it's 2.4 gigahertz, which is fine, but you get 200 hours of battery life. If you use Bluetooth, you get double that at 400 hours. Now this does have 16,000 DPI and it uses what they call their Razer 5G advanced optical sensor. So just a better optical sensor. Now we'll turn it on and you'll see it's on. Now I thought this would need batteries because it's so light. So it's incredibly light. And let's turn it back on here. So now you can flip the switch either to Bluetooth or flip it down for that 2.4 gigahertz. So if I flip this up to Bluetooth, you'll see a light comes on here on the top and then we can connect to a device and switch between them. Now, ergonomically, it feels pretty good. My hands are quite large, so this is a nice big mouse. To give you an idea next to a mouse that most people really don't like, here is the Magic Mouse. I actually don't have a problem with it, but a lot of people don't like it. I was going to use this with a Mac, but you can use it with a computer, with a Windows computer, just switch between it. So I'll probably do both quite honestly. So let me set that aside. Let's take a look at the Pro Glide very quickly. Let's see if we can open this up here. There we go. Open it up. And this is the mouse pad. Now, traditionally, I actually don't use a mouse pad. It's rubber on the bottom. It's got your typical mouse pad feel on the top and it should work nice and fit and nice and smooth and pick up the 16,000 DPI that it has claimed as far as its sensitivity. Now let's set that aside. We'll set that up here and take a closer look at the keyboard. So here's the keyboard. Now this has the same capability as far as Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz wireless. And instead of four or 200 hours, this gets 84 hours on Bluetooth or 78 hours on 2.4 gigahertz wireless. Now it's a mechanical keyboard, so that'll be interesting to use. Let's go ahead and cut this here. There we go. And open it up. Now this has Razer's orange switches in it. So we'll take a closer look at those in just a moment. You've got a little pamphlet in here to explain how to set it up and it's fully customizable using their software as well. So let's take a closer look at the keyboard, see what we've got here. Now the keyboard has this packaging, this foam on it. We'll take that off, take the cover off 
and here's the keyboard itself. Now this is made of aluminum on the top, so it's metal. On the bottom we have different rubber feet, as well as other feet we can stand up if we want a little bit of a more ergonomic angle. We've got our USB dongle here, and then on the back you've got USB-C, and then your switch either 2.4 gigahertz or Bluetooth, and that's it. Now let's take a look at the cable. So here's the cable. We've got USB-C, like I said, which is nice, and then USB-A. So you can use this plugged in to charge or just use it plugged in all the time. It's a braided cable. It's really nice. But let's take a closer look at the keyboard. Now this has Razer's orange switches underneath. And as you can see, here are the orange switches. So you can see the Razer orange switches. Now when I was removing one of those, I actually accidentally scratched one. So you can see there's these are painted keys that may wear over time. It's just something to note. It was pretty easy to scratch. But but not everyone's going to be removing the keys. So let's go ahead and put these back in place. And this is a backlit keyboard as well, so we'll take a look at that. But let's hear what they sound like first, and then I'll connect it and see what it looks like. So that's what the overall sound of it is when typing. Now, like I said, it's a backlit keyboard, so let's go ahead and turn it on and get it connected. So you'll see it starts to glow. Let me turn the lights down so you can see what it looks like. So it has this nice warm color to it. It's just a white color, but as you can see, it's a nice warm look. You don't get to change the colors on this particular keyboard, but the keys are programmable through software. So it's really nice this way. I think it looks pretty good and it feels very sturdy. So when using this, it shouldn't be super loud, so it's not super clicky, but it's still a mechanical keyboard. Now you may want a wrist rest as well to prop your wrists up a little bit for better ergonomics, but it just depends on how you type. I've been using the Razer ProType for just a little bit, and in order to pair this, it's kind of interesting. So on one side you have Bluetooth pairing, or you have 2.4 gigahertz using the USB dongle. You have a total of four devices using three with Bluetooth and then the dongle. Then you can see that it's paired here, and if you want to pair it to a second device, you hold down function and then press two, or you can hold function and press three, and that will give you a different device. So you can switch between them. If you're using the USB dongle, you don't need to do this. It will just connect or you just switch back to one using Bluetooth. So it's really easy to switch between them. So that part's really nice to see. And then also if you're using it with a tablet, you could just easily pair between the tablet, the computer, back and forth, whatever you'd like. Now the Razer Pro Click, while I find it very comfortable, it's very ergonomic, I have no issues there, I do find it to be a little bit too light. Now I know a lot of people like super light mouses or mice these days, but I really don't. I find it so light that it makes it feel cheap. So it doesn't feel worth $100 to me, but I do like the feel of it. So it's very comfortable, no problems there, it tracks well, but it's just that lightness. Now if you like a light mouse, this is going to be great for you. Now you may have already noticed that I'm not using that mouse pad, and that's because I don't really like them. I actually prefer to use a mouse on a table. The mouse pad is fine. It works well. And if you like one, it, it's great for $10, but I actually prefer to use a mouse on the table. It works fine on this table. And as long as the table's not transparent, it should work fine for you also. Now the keyboard feels very high quality with that aluminum top on it and the switches feel really nice. They're not going to be too loud to bother your neighbors if you're actually using it at a workplace. I think for the most part, it'll work really well. Now, if you're using this with a Mac, you may not have some of those function keys that you're familiar with, but everything just seems to work out of the box with my Mac. So no issues there. Everything seems to be pretty high quality. So let me know what you think of the Razer Pro Type, Pro Click, and the Pro Glide in the comments below. If you'd like to see more accessory reviews, let me know there as well. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.